Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error. This site can't be reached in Google Chrome. Now, before you try any steps, let's get to the basic. Now, the first basic step is to go ahead and check if you have internet connection. Ensure you have internet connection and it is active and stable. And at the same time, if you are not, if you do not have the internet connection, restart your router or modem. Disconnect the power supply for a minute and then reconnect it. Or if you have a power button, press the power button for about one to two seconds and then release it. Restart your modem and router and check if you are able to connect to the internet. That should be the basic problem. Now, in spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, now the first step you need to try is to, you need to run a couple of commands to fix this issue. To do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer by typing CMD in the search window. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes, or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and copy and paste the command from my video description now the first command is to do a reset of windsock so you can copy the command and do a right click and hit enter you would see the message saying that successfully reset the windsock catalog you will have to restart the computer which will which you will have to do once you execute all the command now the second command what you will have to run is to flush dns you can copy and paste the command by doing a right click and hit enter so you would see a message saying that successfully flush the dns resolver cache once this is done the next command what you will have to do is to you will have to release and renew the ip config so you copy the command from the video description and paste it here and hit enter so you're releasing the ip config now we'll have to go ahead and renew the ip so you'll have to enter the other command to renew it do a right click copy the command and do a right click so this will go ahead and release and renew the ip on your computer once this is done you may go ahead and close this window restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in case if your issue has been resolved you don't need to try the next step now the next step what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and check if there are any proxy settings to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type control and hit enter this should open the control panel in case if you're on a category view please click on the view by and then click on the drop down and choose the option which says large icons or small icons so for the demonstration, let me go ahead and choose the large icon. Once you are on the control panel, look for the internet option. Click on the internet option and that should open the internet properties. Once you have the internet option, you will have to go ahead and click on connections. Under connection, you will have to go ahead and click on LAN settings. Under this, make sure you have automatically detecting detect settings is being checked in case if you have used a proxy server for your LAN if it is checked make sure it is unchecked and only the option for automatically detect setting is checked you may click on ok and then click on ok close this window and then try to open google chrome and check if you are able to access the web now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem now the next step is to go ahead and reset the network now to do this you will have to open or you will have to go ahead and do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you are on the settings page you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet now on the right hand side you will have to go ahead and click on advanced network settings once you are on the advanced network set settings you will have to go ahead and locate for network reset click on it and then click on reset now when you get a prompt it says are you sure you want to reset your network settings you may click on yes wait until this command or this is being completely executed close this window restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved once you restart your computer you should be able to access to the internet and that should resolve the problem now, in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day